Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about what is course, the benefits, why it's important and how to implement course. First of all, let's see what is cross origin request. Resource request outside the origin is called as cross origin request. Let's see an example. A web browser loads the web page from the server A. It gets the data from the server A while loading the web page also makes a call an ajax call to the server b to get a data or image it might be anything so this is called as cross origin request why though the origin server is a the web page makes an ajax call to the server b to get an additional data so this is called as cross origin request now let's see what is cross cross origin resource sharing it is a mechanism, course is a mechanism that enables web browsers or web clients to support cross-origin request. Let's see an example. Again, a web browser loads a web page. The web page gets the data from the server A. Meanwhile, it was loading. The web page makes an, uh, an Ajax call to the server B to get additional data. Now, the, from the security point of view, the browser should not allow because it's making a call to a different server. So what browser does is, it will stop the call, it will stop the Ajax call, it will make a pre-flight request to the server B. It will ask, like what is pre-flight request? It will ask the server B, hey server B, can you, can you give the data for A, server A? If the server B says, yeah, I can give the data, I'm I can give the data for server A, then the browser allows the Ajax call to proceed to server B to get the data. If the server if the beef server says no i cannot give the data for server a then browser will not allow the ajax call to proceed rather the browser will throw an error it is called as no access control origin header is present this is a famous header most of the developers would have seen so this is called as course it's a mechanism that enables web client to support cross origin request you can see the error here it's a famous error many developers would have seen in the browser. No access control origin header is present. So now let's see why course is important. It defines who can access what resource from whom. So it's really good to access for an application to access multiple servers but in a, in a secure way. Now let's see how to implement course so whenever a web page makes a call to the from a server and makes a call to the server b the server b has to set the response header which is called as access control allow origin it can set the url which is really good which is recommended it can also set an asterisk which is not mostly recommended so i would say you can set the url exact url for the server a Okay, so this is how a, the server B can implement course supporting the, uh, the web page to get the data from, from the server B. If you want more information, if you're really interested in this topic, please follow this link and you will get more information. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you really like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to share with your friends, please share. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. Thank you so much for your time and all the best for your career. Thank you.